Here is another pattern that is very, very common using iteration. We want to accumulate an answer. So in this case, let us say we are given a list of integers and we want to calculate the product of all the prime numbers in this list. So as an example, if I give you the list 2, 3, 4, you know that 2 and 3 are prime numbers and 4 is of course not a prime number. So the product of all the prime numbers in this list is of course 2 times 3, which is 6. And what about this list, which has no prime numbers in it? Well, when I press enter, my cursor is blinking here, my AI is suggesting the answer should be 1. Why should the answer be 1? Well, think about it. We want to calculate the product of a bunch of numbers. What if there are no numbers to multiply? What is the answer you're expecting? What is the product of an empty set? Well, if you ask a mathematician, they will tell you that the product of an empty set is 1. It's very similar to the way the sum of an empty set is 0. But if you make the product 0, then any value that you multiply with 0 will remain 0. So it's a good idea to define the product of an empty set as 1. Now, with that hint, our AI is able to uh, generate this code. We have a variable called product, which we initialize to 1. And then we examine each item i in data. If that item i is a prime number, where is the is prime function? Well, it will be a helper function which we can write. So let's pretend that function is written. If this item i is a prime number, then we would multiply the product with i. Remember, this is shorthand for product is product times i. So this value 1 would now be multiplied with this new item i and we would get a different product. But then we would continue to the next item. We would continue this and this product is accumulating the final answer. Initially that answer was 1 but as we proceed it accumulates and this is why this pattern is called the accumulator pattern and this variable product is called the accumulator. It's the variable in which we accumulate the answer. So you will see this kind of a pattern in lots of code. Finally after we had done with all the items in data we will return that product or do something else with that accumulated value. So in general, you will see this kind of a pattern where you have some accumulator initialized to some appropriate initial value. And then for each item in the sequence, you will somehow decide whether or not to update the accumulator. And it could be that in some examples, the accumulator is updated in a certain way for some items and in a slightly different way for other items. But this is the general pattern. Now let's take a look at this is prime function. It's a helper function, but firstly I want you to take a look at this suggestion. My AI is so comfortable with the idea of an is prime function that takes an integer n and returns true or false that as soon as my cursor is here, it is suggesting a doc string, some useful doc tests, please check all of them if see if you agree with them and then some code. For now, I simply want you to focus on this for loop and tell me, is this an example of pattern 1 or pattern 2?